Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will be decluttering and reorganizing my pantry using organizers I found at the Dollar Tree and at HomeGoods. All of the organization items I purchased are less than $10 and they allow you to see the items you are storing inside which not only avoids clutter but helps items from being unseen and forgotten in the back of the pantry. I'm starting by removing all of the glass storage containers that I purchased at Home Goods last year. They seal really well and keep all of my food fresh and are dishwasher safe, which is always a plus. I made these labels about a year or so ago, and while I think they look really cute, they aren't the most functional, so I decided to remove them since I just want to have more flexibility of what goes in each container and not be limited to just what's on the label. I'm gonna rinse all of these out and run them through the dishwasher before using them again. The lids are supposed to be dishwasher safe as well, but I decided to hand wash and dry those just to be on the safe side. Take a pretty face, yeah, well, who's the lucky man? With every feeling overflowing, I put that guitar to my knees. I put the pen to the paper as I watch the ink bleed, trying to figure you out. Like I mentioned earlier, all of these glass food storage containers are from Home Goods, and a lot of the medium to smaller ones ranged anywhere from $3.99 to $5.99, and I believe the tallest one was only $8.99, so it was a great deal. I love the look of the copper lids, and like I said, they seal really well. I've had them for over a year, and I'm just so happy with them. This morning we made a quick trip to Aldi's, so I'm laying out on my island all of the new pantry items that need to be organized and put away, and I'm going to pull out all of the food that's currently in my pantry so I can just organize it all together and have it make sense before putting it all back into my pantry. After all the food items were out and laid on the island, I went ahead and removed everything else from the pantry so I could start fresh and do something new with this whole space.
right, so I've completely cleared out the pantry and wiped down all the shelves and swept the floors. And I put this dry goods sign up. Hopefully that looks good once I start putting everything back in, but I just figured that would be a good spot for it since I plan on putting all of the tall canisters on this shelf. So if I put it there, it would be blocked. And now I just have everything out on the counter. It looks like such a mess, but it'll be all worth it in the end. Um, so all the food I put in like groups. So this is like cans and these are tomato sauces. This is all the stuff that I plan on putting in those clean jars. These are all of our snacks, which is a ton. Here are just some onions. Um, what do we have here? Oranges and sweet potatoes. Some of Miles' little potty training treats. And then kind of just carb stuff over here. So I also set aside all of the containers that I have and we're just gonna start putting stuff away. One thing that helps so much with the cluttered look of pantries and especially with all these snacks are taking them out of the boxes and putting them in these clear containers so you can see them and they just look way more organized and so much less clutter. So that is what I'm going to work on now. One of the other reasons I love using these clear containers is I can see exactly how much I have left of something. I found three boxes of cereal that were practically gone, just sitting and taking up space, making our pantry look cluttered for no reason at all. I didn't love the look of our paper towels where I had them on the top shelf of the pantry before. So I found these baskets and I'm going to put them in there and try to put them in the bottom of the pantry this time and see if that looks any better. So if I have a big awkward bag like this bag of popcorn, I'll usually divide it into several individual bags that are easy to grab and go and won't take up a ton of space in the pantry.
Now that I have all of the food organized, the most satisfied feeling is putting everything neatly back on the shelves and seeing how much more organized this entire space looks. Wish it was a dream Said he'd never give her more Than her condition could afford Now she'll make a scene Looking all around No one here is big enough When she gets mad she's really tough I decided to move some of the Ray Dunn pieces that I had stored in my cabinet to the top shelf of the pantry so they weren't hidden away and I could still see and enjoy them. So I went ahead and put all of my brown paper bags and reusable bags in this cute farmer's market grocery bag just because I thought it looked cuter and it kept everything nice and organized. I put the paper towels in the baskets next to that and then on the other side are my insulated grocery bags and this will just be super functional for me when I need to grab them to go to the grocery store. On the next shelf, I wanted to put all of Miles' snacks so he could see and reach them since he likes being Mr. Independent and picking out all of his own snacks. I love that I can see exactly what and where every item in our pantry is right now and that everything has a place. I think the way I organize this will be really easy to maintain so we don't end up with the clutter that we started out with. I love the functionality of putting our wine bottles on this Lazy Susan. It was totally like a last minute ad, but I think it makes so much sense, especially if I'm gonna keep them up top here. We can just twist them around and access them easily, and it keeps them up and out of the way because I am certainly not drinking at least until January. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it gave you some inspiration and motivation. If you enjoy organization, cleaning, and decor videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!
Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire.